Hey guys, in this session, we'll write a simple program to identify loop length in linked list. So the first thing is we want to identify whether loop exists in the linked list or not. In case loop exists, what is the length of the loop? That means how many nodes are there in the loop? We have to return it. In case loop does not exist, we have to return zero. Now uh, we have seen uh, how to identify loop in uh, previous videos, but uh, let me quickly uh, reiterate here. We will use Floyd cycle detection theory here. So as part of this, we will we will declare two pointers the like let's say they are temp pointer one pointer two initially both points to head node and we will increment pointer one with one step i mean we will traverse one node at a time pointer two will traverse two nodes at a time at one point of time if at any case p1 and p2 both are pointing to same node then there is a loop exist in case at any node its next value became null then there is no pointer i mean there is no loop exist we reached end of linked list with this approach we can find one of the loop node from there let's say that uh, we identified like p1 and p2 became equal from here so now this is loop element now 10 2 29 36 27 42 all or belongs to loop nodes we need to count from here i mean 2 29 36 27 42 10 how we can count when we are identifying loop node i mean when we identify whether loop exists or not we will get the loop node also uh, either p1 or p2 points to the loop node we'll keep rep reference of the loop node we'll traverse one by one we'll keep track of count once it reaches back the same element again we'll exit and return the count so this is our approach let's quickly write code create a class linked list loop length i have copied a um, uh, node class inner class code from a previous example it has uh, data and uh, next members now let's write a static method returns int that's um, length of the node i mean length of the loop find loop length and um, we need to pass head node as a reference to method we declare two pointers for slow moving one which will iterate one node at a time referring to head node initially and fast moving pointer which will iterate two nodes at a time this is also initially initialized to head now let's find whether loop exists or not so while <coughs> slow moving node not equal to null and fast moving not equal to null and fast moving dot next also not equal to null because fast moving will use two node traversal at a time that's why we are checking its next node also not equal to null so increment first i mean move to next node now compare if slow moving 
is equal to fast moving node loop exists. So in this case, we have to identify count. Let's write a method for identifying count. Static and count loop nodes. So it takes one of the loop node, I mean, uh, yeah, node loop. So we'll take a temporary node to iterate and compare whether it matches to the loop node reference we have or not. So initially this is pointing to loop. We'll initialize count. Since we know we have one loop reference, we are initiating count with one. Now while temp dot next not equal to loop, then continue counting count plus plus temp equal to temp dot next. So at the end return count. So now let's make a call to this. It returns integer. So let's say in slow moving one as an input. It returns the loop count here in case if it exists out of the while loop. That means there is no loop exist return zero. Let's write main class, sorry, main method. Um, I'll copy it from a previous example. We can reuse this code here. All I have done is I have created nodes and each node pointing to next node and I have created a loop here. The node 5 is pointing back to node 3. So there is a loop exists. Now let's call this particular method find loop length. And we are passing head node which is n1 here. Loop length. Let's run this. looks like there is an issue it's getting into infinite loop let's find out i might um, miss something somewhere if this is equal to okay my bad we need to do two step increment uh, for fast moving i just did uh, one step here so that's the mistake let's run once again and see yeah now it says loop length is 2 let's create one more node and see what it's going to return so I'll create n6 and it's pointing to 89 n5 is pointing to n6 n6 dot next equal to n3 so i just added one more node into the loop we're expecting four so the loop length is four thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel